Sniper Wolf doesn't just steal TikToks, she steals their jokes too. And keep in mind, this is only one example we caught. Uh, this is kind of interesting. The reason I want to show you guys some clips of this video is because I'm curious. Because I feel like Jack, who's a great creator, who has more than fair points about all this kind of stuff. He's been a creator since 2006, I think like that. And Sniper Wolf comes and starts doing some react videos to TikToks and becomes to uh, gain 30 million subscribers. I, I feel like he's jaded. He's a little hurt. And, you know, he's trying to do whatever he can to monetize Sniper Wolf. I really think he's trying to monetize and make money off of Sniper Wolf. And I'm not saying he's doing anything wrong, but let's watch this real quick. A few weeks ago, I made a video about YouTuber Sniper Wolf and how she's profited off the works of thousands of other creators by reacting to them in the laziest way possible. And on my other channel, Judge of Jack's Films, we've gone much, much deeper into just how he empty the commentary is. In fact, she's gotten so predictable that Twitter user Piosaurus3 made us a oh, your boys got shaky cam. What's wrong with you? Stop yelling. It's kind of unnecessary. Got their car, their neighbor's car. Oh, all right. Summarizing sound effect. That's a take on the electric Porsche. Yes. So that's his new content that he's making of Sniper Wolf. He's watching Sniper Wolf React videos uh, and he's adding a lot of transformative material. He, uh, I think he takes like a 20 second video or a 15 second uh, TikTok video and he does this kind of stuff over it and has maybe a minute, minute of content, just like I'm adding content on his video right now. It's reaction video inception. Boom, 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 boom. But anyway, he goes on and uh, he's, uh, while he's doing this kind of content, you know, he's actually watching a lot of videos of Sniper Wolf reacting. And he notices something that Sniper Wolf doesn't have reaction videos in some places. And that actually, he, she might also have had duplicates uh, to the same TikTok just so she can meet the minimum requirement to add a second ad in a video. Here we go. Of someone surveying damage done to a car. In the TikTok, you hear the narrator say, This is my oh, say, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Into hold the on. hoop. Literally. Hold on. A little. Hold on. So here he's showing how Sniper Wolf is literally stealing other creators' ideas. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> now, at first, I didn't think anything of it. A little Street Fighter joke? Hey, that's yeah, not bad. bad. But then someone in the Twitch chat wrote this. Hey, what? She cut out the end and tried to use a line as her own. The guy in the video said, wait, what? The guy in the video said she hit me with a Hadouken? No, she didn't. We have to screen the TikTok. This bitch hit my shit with Thor's hammer. This bitch hit my shit with a Hadouken. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Chelsea is going kind of weird that he decided to use his uh, dedicate his channel to exposing her. It's giving obsessed vibes. I don't know if it's obsessed. I I can see how he could be obsessed. I'm not saying he's not, uh, not obsessed. I can totally see he can be obsessed or whatever. In my perspective, I think he's he is an exhausted creator. He has done everything he can do to succeed. He's gone through the trends of YouTube. He's been along with it for like 16 years or 20, tw almost 20 years, 17 years, right? And then he sees someone literally doing React videos and shitty ones, not even great. And I think he's just so exhausted, burned out, jaded. I'm definitely projecting here, guys, if you haven't noticed. He saw many of those things that he's like, F it, I'm just going to do React videos too. And what can I react to? Oh, let me do it to the best thing that's succeeding, reacting to those videos. In my opinion, the part he's not realizing is this. He's not realizing that people don't care about Sniper Wolf. In my opinion, what's happening is kids can't get access to TikTok and they have access to YouTube and they're watching TikTok videos on Sniper Wolf. So the less reacting she does, the more they kids want to see those TikToks. They don't, they're not there for her. If she goes overly crazy, they're, they're gone. So I hope he succeeds. I swear to God, I'm rooting for him because he's been doing this since 2006, you know? And I hope he succeeds. But, but in my opinion, he's not going to get the same audience as them. So I don't know what's going to happen. His content isn't really duplicating 
her content, which is great. That's why it's fair use. And but it's not <coughs> as far as targeting the audience, it's not targeting the same audience. It's targeting people like me. And I don't really care about her. I don't really care about the TikToks. I just care about the drama that he's creating. And I feel like we all do. Yeah. I, and, and I hope that, yeah, you know, I'll give you this. If he's able to expose her to a point where YouTube will hold her accountable for stealing other creators' content, not making them transformative and all that stuff, it would be amazing. But that day will never come because YouTube's whole legal thing is we're not the jury, we're not the decider. If you have a content problem issue, go talk to the creator and vice versa. They don't take sides. And she's not breaking any of their rules. So YouTube's not going to do anything. So my only, the way this will feel so good is if, if he becomes a bigger YouTuber than her based on her content that he's transforming. Oh, that would be so sweet. Oh, that would be beautiful. That'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, Life of the Gamer. Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Sniper Wolf doesn't just steal TikToks. She steals their jokes, too. And keep in mind, this is only one example we caught. I had the help of the whole Twitch chat to sleuth this one out. God only knows how many more times Sniper Wolf so has So she done steals jokes. The other thing she does is, let me pop find it here. Of Sniper Wolf are so numerous that I have a list of misdemeanors worth mentioning. For example, take a look at this frame from a recent video. Hiding the name what of the creator about it? behind my head. That's right. She is blocking the username with her face cam. Very cool. A conscious decision to deny the original uploader. Up. This is at least the third time she's reacted to the same Karen clip across three separate videos. And the weird thing is, her reactions are different for each one. She doesn't copy and paste her reactions like she did for the basketball clip, but she acts as though she video. There yeah. is a 40 second. So on this react video, she really truly doesn't comment for 40 seconds. Block. We're sniping. <laughs> Jack goes <laughs> off and counts off how long 40 seconds is. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Mayhaps very funny. We're not even at 20 seconds. And right, the number one warning, issue with this her. This final one might make you angry because it sure made me angry. So. There I was hosting yet another Bubba Bingo stream when all of a sudden I'm surprised with this. Where did Sissa Sniper Wolf? Yeah, so apparently she doesn't even react to some. She just literally still steals their content flat out. Go. Why isn't she taking up two thirds of the frame like she always does? You know, so we could see her insightful commentary and her epic reactions. So we continue watching the TikTok by popular creator to reaction to what happens next. So these kids are. So she literally goes to the next video. <laughs> to react. In editing, she opens with an as bumpers for her own little variety show. To me, this is pretty damning evidence that people don't watch Sniper Wolf's channel for her. They watch it for the TikToks. I'm and when we first the first when we first watched the first video he did, that's exactly what I suggested. I suggested, remember I said I have two nieces, uh, uh, not really uh, by blood, but just my best friend's uh, kids. Uh, and they love uh, TikTok. They just love it. And uh, when I was there, they were literally hanging out with me as I was scrolling. I think it was Instagram or something like that. Not TikTok, Instagram stories. And we were laughing and it was the best time of our lives. They don't care about her. They just want the TikTok content they can't access anywhere else because their parents don't let them. Yeah.